Catching feelings for someone is easy, but seeing if they feel the same way towards you is nerve-wracking. Unrequited love is a special kind of hell, but no matter how painful it is, you can still overcome it by using these 10 methods. 1. Allow yourself to grieve. Rejection hurts. Your heart is broken, but your whole body feels heavy and worn down. This is because emotional pain activates the same part of your brain as physical pain. Be kind to yourself and let yourself heal. Don't pretend like everything is okay or put off dealing with your heartbreak as if it's a chore. Acknowledge that you're not emotionally well and probably won't be for a while. You have to accept the pain before you can get better. 2. Realize you're not alone. Rejection makes us vulnerable, and we take it personally because our heart is involved. One trap we often fall into is believing that we're not good enough just because one person didn't return our feelings. We might think that we're not attractive, smart, or lovable enough, but unrequited love happens frequently, even to people we think would never have a hard time with romance. A good way to prevent self-depreciation is to consider other perspectives. Perhaps it was simply bad timing, or the two of you aren't right for one another. Focus on manifesting self-love instead of pulling yourself down, and you'll definitely recover faster from the heartbreak. 3. Ask if there's a pattern in your rejections. For some people, falling in love with someone who rejects them is a pattern they repeat based on similar childhood experiences. They may have developed insecure attachment if they had caretakers who weren't always available when they needed support. Try to assess your history of rejections and see if the people you're choosing are repeating the same type of behavior you experienced in your childhood. If so, this will only cause you to relive the times you felt abandoned or betrayed, and you'll close yourself off even further, finding it harder to trust people. To break out of this cycle, it's important to recognize the pattern and be aware of who you choose to bear your feelings to. 4. Realize that it's also hard for the person who rejected you. People who reject others often suffer from guilt and anxiety afterwards. It's not easy dealing with heartbreak, but heartbreakers usually feel awful about hurting someone without meaning to. 5. Distance yourself from the person who rejected you. Even if both of you agree to remain friends after your confession, it's a good idea to create some distance between the two of you, to give yourself time to work out your feelings. If they truly care about you, they'll understand. Don't worry about coming off cold. Creating space can help you put things into a healthier perspective. It's easy to have tunnel vision when you're still closely interacting with the person that rejected you. Backing off for a while will help you ease off the attachment you feel. 6. Treat your feelings like they're someone else's. Talking to yourself in the third person can help you better control your emotions. This allows you to step out of your usual perspective and assess the situation in a more objective point of view. Emotions can be very high maintenance, and when you're flooded with negative thoughts, it's hard to be self-absorbed. Instead, monitor your feelings like they're another person. This can help you realize that your unrequited feelings aren't the only feelings you have. Just being able to step out of the frame and see that they only make up a part of who you are can be a relief. 7. Focus on non-romantic media. Media is congested with romance, but it's helpful to step away from books, movies, blogs, and radio stations on that genre for a while. Instead, you can turn to media that promotes confidence and self-love. When you focus on improving your well-being, you'll gain a sense of empowerment and begin to recover from your broken heart. 8. Be inspired by your feelings. Instead of letting your feelings consume you, channel them into productivity. Use them to inspire your craft or just take some time off to soul search. You can also pick up a new hobby, as long as you can distract yourself from your heartbreak. 9. Don't search for closure. Accept the situation at face value and realize you don't need all the answers you want. Holding on to the feelings you have for someone won't help them come around. Learn to stop criticizing yourself because the only way to get past unrequited love is to believe that you're enough to pull yourself out of it. 10. Don't give up on love. Ultimately, the future is undetermined. Life is unpredictable and has a funny way of introducing us to new people when we least expect it. If you're still caught up on someone who isn't worth your time, however, you're closing yourself off to many other possibilities of love. The key is to sort through the feelings that are clouding your judgment. While it may not feel like it right now, heartbreak will eventually pass. What are your experiences in dealing with unrequited love? Did you discover any helpful methods? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our website and other social media, as well as our Patreon account. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching!